What's up guys, Patrick here, New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today I met up with Marissa and she's with Adventure Series RV. She's gonna give us a tour of a 12 foot travel trailer that sleeps five people with a huge slide out and a pop top. And this thing is ultra quality. This is not made out of wood. It's all made out of composites, aluminum and steel. So join us for the tour. Hi, I'm Marissa with Adventure Series RV. We're based out of Somerset, Pennsylvania. We are a direct-to-consumer manufacturer, and this camper is built by people who love to camp. So I'm excited to show you how we've maximized space in our off-road, off-grid camping trailer, the Epic Scout. So let's start with the outside. This Epic Scout has a dry weight of 2,500 pounds. We're zero wood construction, so it's all composite material, aluminum. Our height is just under eight foot, so it should be able to fit inside an eight foot garage. So for off-road components, we have 33 inch all-terrain tires. We have Timberin independent off-road suspension on a welded steel frame with our articulating hitch. Then we also have our mounted propane tank up here. This is where our Dometic dual zone fridge freezer is. This is 75 liters and with the dual zone you can do fridge, fridge, freezer, fridge, whatever you need. There is additional storage space underneath as well. Over here we have our pull-out kitchen. This comes standard with the sink, which can be removed as well. Additional storage underneath. And we have our cook partner dual burner stove here. So we take these out to shows and different places, so mind the mess. <laughs> And under the back hatch, we have additional storage and a prep surface. And all we have latching storage. This is all made of aluminum, again, zero wood, so there won't be any rot or swelling. It can thrive in a variety of climates that way. We have uh, charging ports here, and that works off of our inverter. This is our pass through. This is my favorite way to get coffee in the morning. There is a bug screen you can put in here or you could leave it open. We do have additional lighting back here too. And these are super cool because they get brighter and dimmer as you hold them. This back hatch is pretty sturdy here. So our walls are made of fiberglass, Asdell, a composite core, and then Asdell and fiberglass again. So this is extremely durable. And then down here we have our 30 amp shore power plug. We have additional solar panel outlets, as well as a, a back hitch here that you can put electric bikes on. It, we give it a weight of about 200 to 50 pounds. On the roof, we also have a solar panel. So that starts at 100 watts. It is expandable though, and that goes along with our Renogy lithium batteries down here. So we do the DC to DC converter, MPPT, and our Renogy batteries. We also have Renogy components that monitor our charge. So on the inside you can see how much charge you're using, what you're getting back from the solar panel, so that you never run out and can always see how much you got left. So down here you can see that it's also heated. We have our power switch back there and then you can see all aluminum, no wood construction, as well as our inverter. The compartments are held open with magnets. They have squeeze locks to keep everything pressurized. We have our potable water access here and that goes to our 30 gallon freshwater tank. We have Baja working lights on each corner. That gives a nice working perimeter. And what everyone's waiting for, this is our slide out. It adds about 30 inches more room inside while still being compact at just five to six feet across when it's in. Our fenders and all around are made of sturdy aluminum. So you can walk on them, step on them to get to the top. And then over here we have our shower port. So 
So on our shower port, you just put that in and then it turns right into the handle for hot and cold water. We do have a Dometic hot water heater in here. So you have on-demand hot water with that and you can shower right here. We don't have a toilet inside this one. We do recommend that you use a compost toilet and a pop-up tent or whatever you prefer. For heat, we have Dometic propane furnace with ductwork throughout. And now let's check out the awning. We have the OVS 270 degree awning. Just hook that and then pull it around. And just hook it wherever it's convenient for you. It also has legs that come down. We haven't needed to use them yet. It is pretty sturdy by itself, but if you need more structure, if it's windy, you can feel free to put those legs down. And then this covers the whole working area too for the kitchen, so you can be out here cooking in the rain and not even be bothered. Let's take a look inside. So our door here, we have its triple deadbolt locked so that it adds some stability. We also have a woven steel screen here that keeps the dogs in and bears out as well as the bug mesh on the front. And this is what it would look like if you're trying to stealth camp. So you could leave the pop top down, slide out in and just climb right into bed. And then to put this slide out, you just hit the latch, push her out. So you can see it gives you about 30 more inches. You get a whole walkway here with it slid out. Our bed is about a compact queen. So that's just a few inches smaller than a regular queen camper queen, if you will, gives you plenty of space. There's lots of storage around here too. So you have shoe storage, you got soft storage options all over. Lots of places to put all your things. That way you stay organized when you're on the road. We have latching aluminum cabinetry in here. Again, lots of space, lots of storage. Additional storage under the bed as well as some cubbyhole storage underneath our bench that can be turned into an additional sleeping area. So we do have a panel you can put in here and then you can lay this out, add another kid or pet bed, whatever you need. And then our pop top here gives you some extra standing room. And then this panel here is an additional bed up top. So you can sleep two more adults up there if you like, or a few children. And then that just moves over to give you more standing room. And then on each side of our pop top, we have windows that you can unzip for just a screen. You can also get into the top bunk using the steps from the outside. So you can climb in like a rooftop tent if you'd like. Well, you couldn't see from outside. We have additional storage over here as well as our system control panel. So over here you can see how much fresh water you have, the interior lighting switches, all of our lights for the outside as well as our water pump and that heat. Additional storage here. These are super useful. The mesh lets you see what's inside them. And then our windows have three locking stages. And then they come with a bug screen and a privacy screen. And then you have a little dinette back here. You can all sit around, have dinner, have a working station. I enjoy working from home here. And then you can monitor your charge with your Renogy components. So here you can see your battery charge, your DC to DC charge, how much you're using versus how much time you have left. More charging ports over here. These work off of your inverter. More aluminum latching cabinetry. Um, we have additional organizing storage over here. So I put all of my cords in here for my phone charger and then it's right there convenient. Up above me, I have several lights. You can turn these on individually. They also dim and brighten with just a touch of your finger. 
so you can pick and choose how much lighting you want in here. We also have windows on each side so you can see out every side when you're in here. And then the back hatch. This is a pass-through. This is my favorite way to get coffee in the mornings, just having them pass through, as well as uh, additional soft storage back there. So we usually put you know, snacks or something quick to grab that we can get from both sides. For insulation, we have double pane windows as well as an inch of foam in all the walls that keeps everything inside nice and warm. And then we also have a smoke detector and propane and CO detectors as well as a fire extinguisher. We also do prep for AC units, so we'll do all the duct work for the EcoFlow Wave 2, which you would just put in the, in the pass through here, and that cools down this small area plenty. And then with our 33 inch tires, we also have 19 inches of ground clearance, so this can go anywhere your vehicle can. Our base price is 36,000. As this one sits, it's about 45,000 with it's outfitted with a pop top, the Dometic fridge freezer, the dual zone, cook partner stove, as well as the hot water heater and shower port. Those are all options. You can pick and choose whatever you'd like on your camper at our website, www.epicrv.com. That's epic with a K, E-P-I-K-R-V.com. And on our order form there, you can pick and choose all the pricings laid out and all the options. We also have a bigger model in the works and that one has the kitchen and bathroom on the inside. So stay tuned for that one. Marissa, thank you very much for taking the time today to give us a tour of this awesome, epic trailer. I've never seen a trailer before this size with a slide out like this. And I like that it's manual, you just push it out. Yep, there's no motors or gears in it, so it's not gonna break. So you'll never be stuck with your slide out, and you can always hit the road. And I like the fact that with the slide in, you could still come in here and sleep. So if and you're gonna do- And it's still a good size mattress in here too. Like an yeah. overnight in a Walmart parking lot or something on your journeys, you could still sleep in it. Absolutely. But then you have the flexibility if your friends wanna come, you could, they could sleep up top or you could sleep up top and then you even have a dog bed or a child bed in here. Yeah. This is amazing for the amount of space that's in here for what it can do is absolutely incredible. And I love the quality of all the materials. Like normally in an RV this would all be a piece of wood, mm -hmm. right? This is all aluminum and this is all powder coated or painted. It's very durable all throughout and I love the fact that this is like fiberglass here on all the materials. And I don't smell like any off-gassing or anything, so mm -hmm. um, this is great. I could stay in this one. Epic campers are built by people who love to camp, so we've really thought through all the details of how we want to camp and what will work for people when you're actually out using it. So it's very user-friendly. Uh, we try to keep it simple so that everyone can enjoy. Well, I'm going to leave the links in the description. This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us.